Hey, what is going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video, My Sports Gamatria. In this video, I'm going to go over the games for NBA on Monday, May 31st, 2021. I'm just going to give you quick highlights of each side, and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if you needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for some reason you're curious to know who I'm picking in these games, you'll have to join my Patreon. My picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your picks today. Let's go ahead and get to today's games. We just have two of them. Sixers versus the Wizards in Game 4. And Jazz versus the Grizzlies in Game 4. So on this side, I have what I call my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew calendar. And then on this side is what I call my game numbers. So... Away team up top, their season record, their postseason record, their coach's record, head-to-head -head in the middle. Home team at the bottom, their season record, postseason record, coach's record. Up top here, I have the series, game four. Philly can either close it out 4-0 with a sweep or it can fall to 3-1 and with the Wizards win. This is the 31st NBA playoff game uh, for the season. What's fascinating about this is the last time um, the series and the game could line up. It did. It was a, it was the twenty first playoff game, and it was the Boston Celtics who dropped the Nets two to one. So in the twenty first playoff game, the Celtics upset the uh, the uh, Nets and became one and two or two and one for the playoff series. Same thing can happen here. In the 31st playoff game, the Wizards can upset the Sixers and drop the series to 3-1, like 31. If that were to happen, uh, the Wizards would get their 36th win for the season on the 151st day of the Gregorian year. 151 is the 36th prime number. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what else do we have here? You know, Wizards have yet to win a single game against the, the 76ers all season long. Uh, and so they can either become 1-6, and six, like 16, head-to-head -head against the Sixers for the first win ever for the season. I just don't know if I see a 16 connection. On the opposite side, it would be 6-1, and one, like 61. And uh, 61 can match up with 57 date numerology, 57 sums to 131. Just like a 61 sums to 131. Um, in in uh, Wizards, they can get their 21st home win for the season as they get their 12th postseason win head-to-head -head against the Sixers. And here's a 16 connection. They would sit on 16 postseason losses. Uh, head to head against the Sixers as they become one and six, like sixteen, for the season. Uh, sixteen, if we spell it out, sums to thirty-three. And uh, Wizards would sit on one hundred and thirty-seven postseason losses with the win. One hundred thirty-seven is the thirty-third prime number. Taking it back to fifty-seven date numerology on the Gregorian Wizards. Coach, he can get his 570th win for his career, which has a 57 in it. It says 1,100 or 1,031st all time game, which looks like a 131. I wonder if that has number properties 1031. It does. Okay, this isn't a good sign for the wizard. So 1031 is the 173rd prime number. 173 is the 40th prime number. And uh, Philadelphia, they can go ahead and sweep the Wizards 4 0, like 40. Uh, today does have 14 date numerology on the Gregorian. 14 sums to 40. And Wizards would get their 43rd loss for the season 43, the 14th prime number. Let's see if that has any number properties. 107. 
181st prime, the 42nd prime number, 41 date numerology, one day shy. Any other 42 connections? Another thing that would go with the 31s would be it being the 31st day of May, the last day of the month. But one thing that I have for the Sixers uh, that I'll probably stick with is the 203. Sixers can get their 203rd all-time head-to-head win against the Wizards, it being the 20th day of the third month on the Hebrew religious, like 203, like 203. They get their 203rd all-time head-to-head win, potentially. But I would watch out for this 3-1. We've already seen this hit before with the Celtics in the 21st playoff game. And it is the 31st of May, so I would think that's the Wizards' best chance, getting their 36th win, 151, the 36th prime. If that doesn't do it, then it's going to come down to this 23, this 200, this 20, 20th day of the third month, 203, and Sixers get their 203rd, sweeping the Wizards 4 now like 40 in their Wizards coach 100 or 1,031st all-time game, the 173rd prime number, 173 the 40th prime number. Next game would be the Jazz and the Grizzlies. 79 date numerology on the Hebrew religious. 79 is the 22nd prime number. The Grizzlies could upset and even the score 2 2 head to head against Jazz, like 22. At the same time, though, the Jazz coach can sit on 253 losses for his career, which is the 22nd triangular number, as he continues to sit on 22 postseason losses to go with. This is Grizzlies coach's 149th all time game for his career. Today does have, have 77 date numerology on the Gregorian, 77 sums to 149. And Jazz can sit on 149 postseason losses with a win. Today does have 57 date numerology on the Gregorian, and Grizzlies could get their 37th loss for the season. 37 sums to 57. It's also the Grizzlies' 79th postseason game. So that might play a little little factor in the 22, potentially. It's their 79th postseason game, the 22nd prime. They could even the score 2-2. And they would sit on 36 losses for the season on the 151st day, the 36th prime number. Grizzlies coach should be 2-2 postseason with the win. There's potential there for it. And then Jazz would get their 22nd loss for the season as they sit on 22 road wins. So a lot of 22s, so maybe this would favor the Grizzlies here. Um, it being the 31st of May, they could get their 31st postseason win. And Jazz might watch out a little bit here. A lot of 22s on the board. When's game five? Let's look at game five. Potentially game five. So game five would be on Wednesday the 2nd. Okay. Wednesday the 2nd. See if we have anything. Wednesday the second is the 257th day on the Hebrew Civil, the 55th prime number. So Jazz can either get their 55th win in this game and head into game five, emphasis on the five, on the 257th day, the 55th prime number, or they can lose this game and get their 55th win in game five. So it goes either way, I suppose. Uh, this day does have 49 date numerology on the Gregorian, and that's when the Grizzlies could get their 49th postseason loss. Instead of getting it today, or they can get it today and then head into game five with 49. Um, 
Grizzlies next game is their 79th game of the season. So we're going to be seeing this the 22 connection. Their next game is the 77th. Yeah, that 55 for the Jazz. They can get it either in this game, I guess, and then head into game five and insist on the five on the 257th day of the Hebrew Civil, the 55th prime number. Or they can get it on this day, Wednesday. It is the 22nd day on the Hebrew calendar, and it could just be fitting for all that going into the season with the even 22 playoff record, 2-2. 222 losses for the season. And it'll be Grizzlies 79th game, 22nd prime. Interesting numbers here for Grizzlies. Might have to continue to look at it a little bit more. Um, what else? I think that's it for right now. 253, 254. You know, if Grizzlies win this game, they would become 2 and 5 head to head against the Jazz with the win. And um, game five is played on June second, six slash two, and that's when Jazz maybe can up the series or up up the head to head for the season six two with the win, and that'd be two six six two in the next game. Uh, interesting numbers here potentially for Grizzlies for an, a second upset in the series. I'm going to have to continue to look it over. Let me know if you guys see anything different here or, or anything I'm missing or you can add to it. Same with this game up here, Sixers Wizards. Uh, anything I'm missing or add to it. I know this is just, just kind of like a light read for these games. Uh, not a whole lot going on for Monday. But um, hopefully this helps a little bit. And um, I wish you guys the best luck on your picks. Thanks for watching.